Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. I haven't taken my walk yet. I just dropped my great-grandson off at the Y. Um, let's go ahead and make a real quick fire this morning. These are pine needles, a piece of chert. Oh, and here's that chert cloth we made in the video, three ways to make emergency fire with a t-shirt. So let's see how good this char cloth is. Just gonna get a pinch of them. I'd like to go ahead and use them up because I prefer denim char cloth. So I got about four pieces here and looks like a good sharp edge over here. And I usually stick that char cloth a sixteenth of an inch behind that sharp edge. And I'll be going for this part of the edge up here. Haven't seen one spark come off of it yet. Let's try this other edge. There we go. I see sparks. You always want to close up your char tin before you start this. Any of those stray sparks get in there and you'll burn up a lot of char material. out of aluminum can solar igniters the one that I had made out of that Pepsi can I cut it in half and made a grease lamp out of it so what do we have to work with today yep I'll show you how I polish up these bottoms and we'll if the Sun comes out solar ignite some more of that t-shirt char cloth good all right, we are ready to polish up this aluminum can, the bottom, and we're going to use this Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. You can get this at any auto parts store for about $12, $13. And I, I polish it twice, and just, just the way you would polish anything, really. Just take a paper towel, get a little dab on there. Polish away. This aluminum is going to turn that polish black. That's normal. Now we'll buff it off. Might need to do it more than once. I've done it three times before. But uh, I've never found a can that wouldn't polish up and that wouldn't make a solar igniter so I guess they all have about that same parabolic curve on the bottom which makes them great for the task all right to me that looks like it could use another coat
What's the matter, Riddick? Did that scare you? He's scared. You should be able to see the tripod upside down. I've got some char cloth in the pine needles tender bundle. And take and roll this up a little bit. Let's just see if it's hot enough to ignite it. Very misty sky. I see smoke. I see an ignition. You can tell that it's ignited because it's a very bright spot where the focal point is reflecting off that ash. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.